It's just another ordinary work day. You're sitting at your desk, staring at your computer. Colleagues come and go, but you're still here in the same place, doing the same thing. It was in your plan to study one day, but life got in the way and weeks turned into months, which eventually turned into years. But what if today was the day this all changed and you took the first step to changing your future by embarking on an online learning course with the Academy of York? Hi, I'm Richard Leeming, Dean of Academy of York. Academy of York is an accredited college with over 10 years experience and over 10,000 students have studied through us. Most of our courses are either accredited or registered by professional bodies or their relevant seaters, while we as a college are registered with the Department of Education. Our academic and student support team are committed to ensuring that you successfully complete your studies. So whether it's in the growing field of human resource management, project management, or an empowering life coaching course, let Academy of York take you to the next level in your career and into a brand new future. All over the world, education institutions are moving towards online education, recognizing the need for making education accessible and affordable to all. Academy of York is proud to be part of that online revolution. And as your partner in education, we can help you take the first steps to achieving a better future for you and your family. So dare to dream and take the first step out of the ordinary and into the extraordinary with Academy of York, the college for people with a purpose. Congratulations, Fiyaz Khalek. Siya vuyisana, siya guhalelisela. Ria khulebu khisa, si pitori abashwe. Ria lebuha. You have done it. You set yourself a goal and you have worked hard to achieve it. You may have doubted yourself along the way, had sleepless nights, and perhaps even struggled with the juggle of work, family, and study commitments. But you did it. You have completed your studies and you have moved from student to graduate. Congratulations. Take a moment to quietly think back to your study journey. Just like life, it perhaps had its highs and lows. A time when you perhaps failed an assignment or perhaps struggled with a section of work and the times when you rejoiced because you got a positive result. Success is not linear and upward line. Success is a series of highs and lows, ups and downs. Winston Churchill said, success is not final, failure is not fatal, it is the courage to continue that lasts. Take a moment to think back to those who were your supporters along your study journey, who cheered you on, who gave you a helping hand, who offered to babysit your daughter to allow you time to do your assignment, who offered to cook a meal while you were studying, who quietly supported you when you were plagued with self-doubt and fear. Martin Luther King said, somewhere along the way, we must learn that there is nothing greater than to do something for others. To our supporters who cheered loudly or silently, we thank you. Take a moment to reflect on what you have accomplished. When you set out your goal, it may have seemed out of reach. Perhaps it's been years since you have studied 
and perhaps you questioned your ability to get back into studying. Your goal of completion and graduation may have seemed out of reach, but with your hard work, your sacrifice, your belief, your tenacity, your courage, you have done it, and we applaud you for it. Class of 2020 and 2021, you have reached your goals at a time in our world where the impossible felt impossible, where there were challenges and obstacles at every turn, but nothing could stop you because you are unstoppable. Class of 2020 and 2021, we congratulate you on your success today, on your graduation, and we wish you every happiness and success for the future. The future belongs to you. To conclude with the words of Tim Fargo, who you are tomorrow depends on what you do today. Resilience in 2021 and beyond. What does it mean to be resilient? The image that always pops into my mind is somebody falling and getting back up again. It is the process of tripping over your own laces, falling forward, and then simply getting up to place one foot in front of the other. One of the things that always motivates me is to simply Google these two words, famous failures. And names like Oprah Winfrey, Michael Jordan, and more pop on the screen. Reading their stories, inevitably, I feel inspired. Resilience is the way in which we adapt to change, how we survive, recover, and perhaps even continue to grow and thrive. The past two years have been a real test in resilience. You perhaps have faced massive challenges and obstacles, you may have fallen multiple times, but here you are, standing today, ready to graduate. In our ever-changing world, I believe the four C's are key to building resilience. Courage, confidence, capability, and communication. Let's start with courage. It took great courage for you to take the first step towards improving your knowledge and skills. It took courage to sign up for a course. It takes courage to want to improve. Courage can be seen in the everyday choices you make. Courage is getting out of bed when you feel tired, studying and failing and then trying again. Harry Hoover said, if you have the courage to begin, you will have the courage to succeed. Capability is defined as having the power to do something. Thomas Edison, inventor of the light bulb, said, if we did all the things we were capable of, we would literally astound ourselves. You have great power and ability. It was your vision that enabled you to take the first step towards studying and towards a better future. Continue to remind yourself that you have the ability to do anything you want to do. Confidence, there is nothing like it. Confidence comes from the Latin word confidere, which means to have full trust. Confidence is a feeling that results in giving you positive energy to achieve and take action to achieve your personal goals and dreams. Confidence is the magic ingredient that makes us feel unstoppable rather than feeling scared out of our wits. Confidence is a powerful word and an even more powerful feeling. Being confident not only makes you feel good, but it also allows you to seize potential opportunities, take chances, make that big change, or take the next step in your life and your career. If you feel confident right now, savor the feeling, and the next time you're feeling unsure, go back to today and think about how confidence made you feel. Communication is vital in our ever-changing world. In any communication environment, you have a sender and a receiver. And it seems that in today's world, everyone wants to send information, but few want to receive it. Headlines have to shout to get our attention. In marketing, cookies are used to track behavior in order to communicate messages that brands want us to hear. As a college, it is vital for us to communicate and support our students. But instead of simply talking, 
We really want to listen. We want to listen to what you, our students, are saying. We want you, our students, to know that we're ready to listen to you in order to fully support you and hear you. As you continue your journey, remember the importance of listening to understand. Courage, capability, confidence, and communication, these four Cs are vital to building your resilience as you continue your journey. Yes, there will be times when you fail, but with the four Cs, you will get up and continue along your way. My final C is to simply congratulate you for coming this far. Congratulations, Class of 2020 and 2021. A warm welcome to all our graduates and their guests to the 2021 Academy of York Virtual Graduation and Celebration Ceremony. Congratulations to each and every one of our students on completing your qualification. This milestone was not reached without many hours of hard work and dedication. And your commitment will finally be rewarded today as you celebrate your achievement. With your newfound knowledge and skills that you have acquired, we believe that the doors of opportunity will open for you now and into the future. Your newly acquired knowledge will empower you to pursue many new opportunities. You have not only done yourselves proud, but I'm sure you will agree that you have done your families and loved ones proud too. One of my key priorities as principal of Academy of York is to ensure that all South Africans have access to quality education which is essential in both in securing employment opportunities for our students, as well as allowing our students to grow and further their careers in their chosen fields. Academy of York has been built on four key pillars, which form the basis of our promises to you. One, to provide quality accredited education. Two, to ensure that this quality education is affordable to everyone. Three, to provide fanatical student support in order to assist and motivate our students on their study journey. And finally, to celebrate in our students' success. The entire Academy of York team wish we could be with you in person, watching you wear your graduation gown with pride as you graduate. However, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, this has not been possible. So we bring this virtual graduation to you with the hope that in the not too distant future, this will be able, that we will be able to return to in-person graduations. The pandemic has been difficult for many, and sadly, many people within the Academy of York community have been affected by loss. Loss of income, loss of livelihoods, loss of personal interaction, loss of freedom, and unfortunately, loss of life. To each one of you who have experienced this loss, I want you to know you are not alone. You are brave and resilient, and you have managed to survive and, in perhaps, and perhaps in some instances, even thrive by completing your studies during this time. Reflect on the past two years and all you have experienced and the lessons that you have personally learned. It is said that in the toughest times, we learn some of the greatest lessons. We learn how resilient and resourceful we are, and thankfully, tough times don't last. But tough people certainly do. There are some silver linings to this COVID cloud that have changed our world. And one of these, without a doubt, was the accelerated move towards better online technical solutions. We at Academy of York have developed a range of online courses and qualifications where students have access to an entirely new suite of interactive learning tools. And we encourage you to explore this as, you, as your learning journey continues. As your principal, I am delighted to introduce you to the dynamic guest speaker today, Kim Kluter. Kim is a dynamic creative force in the South African entertainment industry. She is a TV presenter, film actress, stage actress, and aside from that, she is a businesswoman. She is known by many as the host of the talk show Lunchbox, and is also known for her role in the popular soap operas Isidingo and Benalandas. Kim is passionate about, uh, passionate about making the most of your talents and skills and has been an Academy of York speaker at our graduation in 2019. 
So I hope you're inspired by her. In closing, I would like to wish you every success in your chosen field. And remember, your study journey is not over. And we encourage you to always be open to new things and to continue to learn. I will end with the words from Brian Tracy. Commit yourself to lifelong learning. The most valuable asset you will ever have is your mind and what you put into it. Hi, my name is Kim Kluter, and um, I'm a freelancer, independent contractor, or entrepreneur, if you like. Not so long ago, I was sitting in a huge conference hall with all of you, seeing your faces and um, how times have changed. But today, I want to talk to you about entrepreneurship specifically. And it's really about what are the fundamentals of entrepreneurship. And I want to I wanna impart this to you because I've been working for 21 years and it took me a long time to understand what they are. First thing is, what do you want? Who are you? Where are you going? Where do you come from? Who's your demographic? Is there a demand? Can you supply it? And how well do you know your product? These are, they are vital to starting your own business. And some of you where you're sitting right now are probably thinking about that. So like I said, I'm a freelancer, independent contractor, and it's not always easy because I don't always know where my paycheck is gonna come from, if there's gonna be a paycheck at the end of the month. But I've been consistently working for 21 years. And it's also based on very, very basic principles. Um, firstly, being committed being disciplined, honing your skill, being brave. Life rewards bravery. Nothing is easy. Being present, being pleasant to work with, staying top of mind. So when those guys want to shoot something and they go, oh yeah, let's get that Kim girl. She's not only good, but she also, she knows how to work with people. And that is the most important thing, knowing how to work with people. Now I know being an entrepreneur doesn't necessarily mean that you are chasing your dream or that you're living your dream. So whatever it is that you start off with is a stepping stone to that dream. Now, what is the dream? The dream is doing what you love every day and not feeling like you're working a second of the day because you're so passionate about it. You love it so much. So when you love what you do, you don't work a day in your life. So now we're sitting with COVID, right? And everyone thinks, oh, it's the worst situation that we can be in. But there are gaps. There are gaps. And if you focus enough and stay still, and think about what it is that people need right now, there is no better time to start a business than now. You, we've seen, we've seen business, businesses migrate to online thinking it's not gonna work, it's not gonna work because they, they're so used to going to an, to an office, sitting in, in traffic for three hours a day, but it did work. And eventually it was gonna go there. We were eventually going to go onto an online reality. COVID just kind of sped it up for all of us. And that is the truth. So I want to tell you a quick story. Uh, and this is really about connecting the dots. I didn't make money out of it, but it's about thinking out of the box. So on 16 April, 2020, right? Um, we were on level five, level five lockdown. We couldn't move. I had no mobility. The country was uh, uh, hungry starving. People couldn't work. They couldn't feed their, their, their children. There were lootings happening down on the Cape Flats, which is where I'm from. And I felt so completely helpless. And my mom called me, who still lives on the Cape Flats in Bontierville. And she says to me, listen, I'm going to make an extra pot of food today and I'm going to feed the elderly and the children. And I say, mommy, why don't I send you extra money and then um, make more soup and feed more people? And then it struck me. I have so many friends, people that I know who want to help, South Africans who want to help and contribute, but they have no idea where their money is going. So they just don't. So what I did was I called a friend. Um, who still lives um, in Bontierville, I say to her, Cynthia, I need women to open up their kitchens to cook in bulk. I need to find them like today. 
And then what I did was I did an Instagram post where I said, my name is Kim Kluter. You know me, you know where to find me, you know where I work. Please give me your money and I will show you where it's going. I'll tell you who's cooking, where they live, what they're cooking and how many people they're feeding and on which day. So there is this feedback. And before I knew it, we had seven kitchens in three days across the country, from Friedenburg all the way to El Dorado Park. It was a movement that was kind of seeing to itself. And it was simply because I was connecting the dots. I found a way how to get food to the people. And you know what, it's, it's a year and a half later and we're still feeding people. I've stopped counting. I think we are close to a million families right now. So this is what I want to say to you. It's about connecting the dots, thinking out of the box. I have two friends. One is from London, the other one is from America. The one from London has been here for 10 years. He only just got his work permit. The one from America has been here for six years. He hasn't got his work permit. He's not allowed to work in this country. Now the question is why? because it's fertile ground. If you have two cents in your pocket and half an idea, you can do anything here. The possibilities are endless. And this is why it is your time. Go and get it, go and reach for it. There's no better place to be right now than South Africa. Bruises and all, let's not, let's not negate that. But this is the time. This is the time to start a business. This is the, st this is the time to chase your dream. And your dream is not gonna come to you. You need to go fetch it. It's not even gonna meet you halfway. You need to go and get it. You have to. And if you are sitting with any sense of entitlement, let it go. Because it's not gonna teach you a single thing about business. And if you are thinking about starting your own business, make sure that your employees feel invested and not just like employees. Make sure that they're part of the family. Treat people well. No one likes a horrible boss. They really just don't. Be kind to people. Be present. See them. Make sure that they are seen. So I want to say congratulations to all of you. I hope you have a bright, bright future. Um, <laughs> please don't leave the country because we need you but all the best for your future. And it's always such an honor to get to speak to you guys. So go and catch your dreams, guys. Lots of love. And be kind. Don't forget to be kind. Administration Principles and Procedures Skills Certificate. Nontlantla, Amanda Mazibugo. Adrian, Noma Africa, Mohajane. Ngateko, Fortune Nyati. Advertising and Marketing Skills Certificate. Tatum Oriel McDonald. Bodyguarding Theoretical Certificate. Sfiso Trevor Dlamini. Kabiso Kondlo. Sipamandla. Koza, Vijay Vombo Rupiruru Koruru, also celebrating completing the Operational Management Skills Certificate. Paul Mohorosi Mabaling, Dr. Lazarus Makanya, Messias Ngilunanye Maitias, Rasidina Jim Mfati, Evans Mvenselwa Mhlanga, Pavalo Mwekezi, William Mohozi, Siabonga Naki, Eliezer Tuso Ndlovu, Petras Nundu, Mazi David Sikwalida, Lamla Kosi Shadrak Taitai, Sandi Tofu Peleleni Zwane. Business Administration and Secretarial Procedures Skills Certificate, Jamela Chingwenyana, Teresa Marese, Tandi Abrahams, Michelle Apollos, Varushka Bagis, Lebu, Wanaditsweni Babela, Noba Pumzi Bende, Pauline Kirleng Boroko, Chanel Bronkost, Vuyiswa Dalikwenkwe, Victoria Dineo Dikale, Simon Morobedi, Direko Lungelo Dumeko, 
Nomsa Agnes Tanibe, Anna Femes, Winfred Narisha Fortein, Chablile Kabula, Zintle Prudence Kambu, Elelwani Kanyane, Feziwe Primrose Kilichana, Natasha Herber, Kaliwe Letutula Kininda, Alicia Charisma Kamfer, Matsobane Stephen Kekana, Tabo Reginald Khabi, Sbongile Cynthia Koza, Merka Koza, Sbongile Kota, Furufero Koza, Duduzile Elizabeth Kumalo, Yani Klingenberg, Tabazo Lamula, Utrile Cherry Del Hoa, Vunene Lloyd Mabasa, Ntabiseng Sara Machisa, Asongeziwe Mafanya, Bobby Makakula, Mavis Mahlangu Mapaka, Justina Mahlati, Yolenda Maria Maki Mahuma, Lerato Elisa Malachi, Nelly Swama Pumulo, Bobby Dineo Masha, Maria Precious Masongani, Lindiwe Priscilla Maseko, Tumbi Marubing, Esther Maseka, Confidence Matthews Tepi Mufugeng, Balisa Dikresha Mukwena, Helen Makanye Mukabani, Divonia Munama, Kiriboni Elizabeth Rosina Musitani, Sanelsi Mtian, Dombovu Yumchungu, Mulalo Lesia Mukwebo, Simone Naidu, Sbongi Le Maria Ngubane, Ntabiseng Tabita Ntlapo, Noli Tanjenjani, Israel Ngomo, Yeleka Ngosinjani, Tato Numbao, Bonge Gangulwan, Tulan Ntimani, Jimmy Innocent Nyawo, Manno Solomon Beda, Nolukolo Mobile, Khatebe, Audrey Maputi, Sianejo, Lebohang Sikorbele, Nungulego Pretty Shabalala, Precious Zotwa Shabalala, Matiswa Siotula, Zikona Sibobi, Ronald Johan, Tobela, Carabello Priscilla Chabalala, Munapule Pietras Vedboy, also celebrating completing the Operational Management Skills Certificate and Supply Chain Management Operational Skills Certificate. Priti Nompilo Taba, Nompumelelo Zangwa, Nompumelelo Cynthia Zungu. Conference and Event Management Skills Certificate. Chantal Dexter, Ketelile Balungile Dubazan, Maria Tileng, Ezekiel Tembisi Le Kumalo, Sopaku, Alex Madia, Debra Mathabe, Notan Dumbogazi, Nombilo Purity Mkunu, Matapelo Mudise, Ronica Mufuking, Dagato Susan Defo, Mpomotata, Protas Boni Songondwana, Mojangu Sana Putiahai, Lee Ann Van Veig, Roxanne Donna Wilson, Customer Service and Call Center Management Skills Certificate, Babalwa Annelisa Chichi, Humutehang Adelaide January, Lungelwa Sean Mabongo, Zimbili Margaret Maboda, Maggie Matsi Magubela. Mathane Evans Matala, Zimki Tabola, Stella Pezi Samkeme, Rose Pindi Lemgwe, Malosika Lesihomlefe, Tleketa Roni Mashainyan, Doreen Ngwane, Lesiba Obri Bijeng, Daniel Kapu Rohwasha, Zama Faith Kulu. Facilities Management Fundamental Skills Certificate. Lishokonolo Martin Baloyi, Jacob Egan Bright, Munapule, Samuel Chowe, Chantal Cook Mathie, Atengosi de Brain, Louis Almero de Pusani, Dumisani Crescent Fagude, Karen Jessica Gumbo, Lisa Belinda Hamsa, Dinesh Urjith, also celebrating completing the Safety and Security Management. Skills Certificate. Cornelis Theodorus Yonker, Bakona Pindasi Zwekunene, Matimela Johannes Ledwaba, Tuli Peladi, Gerard Malinga, Victor Manyacha, 
Selo, Daniel Masango, Chris Mayer, Tandukolo, Sami Bobo Mkoboza, Lichela, Michael, Mukubong Hendrik Maeme, Mukwale, Sabata, Kostan Mulife, Mzukolo, Clifford Mona, Tepo, Charles Mpathele, Zama, Bernard Mtinzi, Mwondanga Gundo, Mulaja Shango, McChrystal, Dean Ne, Sinivan, Shubaya Naika, Muletezi, Nechefifi, Wini Ngonyama, Huizmang James Nomga, Lifu Johannes Ndabi, Segun Oak, Tabo Brutus Belusa, Martha Carolina Prinsloo, Jason Earl Robinson, Leticia Schruder, Elizabeth Nomtanda Zoseko, Debucho Sikhabi, Bulane Rachel Silo, Bunle Tlonipane Shiburi, Bongani Abednego Sibeko, Sipamandla Jablani, Yuanita Slinga, Kashifa Sukar, Mandoko Agnes Tsame, Alan Devon Van Veik, Health and Safety, Coordinator Skills Certificate. Nombulelo Martha Aloni, Sibosi Sokolo, Francine Kwasia, Joseph Morhalani, Matenche, Balukile Maria Ramaisela, Mpathele Solomon Daukubong, Health and Safety Representative Skills Certificate, Fanny Stephen Barole, Margaret Winnie Chawuke, Studuzo Trevor Lamini, Esmeray Fori, Toby Le Sylvia Sabane, Marcia Sungwane, Malwanda Providence Sungwani, Tobeka Bridget Subi, Nontlanda Jacob, Petrus Mapale Gadisi, Gahiso Hosana, Spesile Trevisanani Kuzwayo. Humuto Lehodi, Dikone Loginet Lesapo, Sietemba Mabilisa, Wilbert Madondo, Lebuhang Mathangu, Lishohonolo Jesof Makamela, Mpiliseni Valenko Si Michael, Makatini, Musandi Wamkari, Majabi Ana Mamupu, Raisibe Patience Manamela, Stephens Olani Mahamba, Machabalele Jeffrey Matibeng, Figile Gertrude Matonzi, Tabiso Philip Mozabori, Pilisi Wa Priska Mazibugo, Sinentlanta Precious Mdamba, Putiswa Mkumla, Innocentia Tsepang Modisane, Okaeng Victor Moelwa, Kamuhelo, Tomsi Mulete, Muiponi Romensha Muremi, Hola Nemathate, Motubate Debra Nube, Sindisiwe Nzovu, Mzwandile Siabonga Nzovu, Shane Nel, Numatemba Princess Ngobe, Notile Itumeleng Nguchane, Domfuti Rebecca Ntlapo, Tabo Simon Ntlapo, Nicholas Gerald, Munezi Njobu, Setu Ngosa, Olani Nyakeni, Oleid Abidemi Odunba, Kaida James Parker, Matapelo Rebecca Pakedi, Mathule Johannes Daugubong, also celebrating completing the Health and Safety Coordinator Skills Certificate. Jeremiah Rausa, Mathazi Tema. HR Skills Certificate. Bongi wa Midrek Make Khruadbom. Image Consultant Skills Certificate. Cynthia Mamukhale Baloi. Kesevan Chetty. Sanet Dazel. Didinle Dilotote Pumeza Kwabe. Tulia Mitt. Kasanga Grasha. 
Diana Mamsi Hokong, Johanna Adriana Buitumelo, Makobashiane, Martha Zanele Mampana, Tembega Lucia Mapanga, Etienne Michaels, Shanae Ruth Mitchell, Gwena Germina Mukwele, Andile Ryan Nzobi, Tyler Kimiko, Aneza Penelope Kwabe, Ntabeleng Matiete Ramile, Daniel Ruiz, Carmen Dorothy Skippers, Sbongile Princess Shasha, Arase Leandre Strauss, Nadine Chantel Thrun, Tingiko Chabalala, Cornelia Dorothea van der Merwe.